What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another setup video for iOS 15. Uh, this one I think looks really cool, it's really clean and it kind of matches this time of year. It is now October, we're going into fall, it's almost Halloween time, one of my favorite times of the year. And uh, I made kind of a Halloween kind of spooky dark setup on iOS 15 here. So I think that this looks really cool. Now I'm gonna show you guys some more tricks in this video in how to do certain things and hopefully it helps you out. So this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video. It's it's a what I would consider a pretty simple setup. It's literally just a couple of widgets and then some custom icons. But what makes it a challenge is that these icons are actually meant for a jailbroken iPhone. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can extract them and use them on a non jailbroken iPhone. And apparently a truck just pulled up and has really loud brakes. So uh, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna exit out because we're just in my photos. You can see here is our blank canvas to start with. I just threw an icon there so I could have one page ready to go. Now, like I said, this theme is meant for a jailbroken iPhone. The theme is actually paid as well. It is called Massive. Let me go ahead and look it up here. This is pretty much my theme library within my files. So every theme that I own, I put into its own folder and then I put the creator uh, Twitter handle or whatever handle they use um, below that. So Massive, and this is by this person here on Twitter. This is a paid theme. So if you want to purchase it, just hit them up on Twitter. That's how you can get it. So you can see here are the icons. And at this point, most people know what to do. They can use these icons, but to get your icons into files is actually a little bit of a challenge because you have to use another application um, to get them there. So what I'm gonna do is jump into Twitter and I'm probably gonna black this part out so you can't see any of the conversation or anything. Uh, but here is the download link that I received after I purchased the theme. And um, at this point, all you gotta do is click the little download button in the upper right there. And then we're gonna click on more and we don't wanna open this in files. We want to open it into iZip. Now iZip Pro is paid, I believe, and then you can also get iZip for free from the app store. So that's what we want to open that up into because we need to unzip the files and they're structured a little different. The actual Apple files application can't handle the structure of this zip basically. So what we're gonna do is just click okay and it's going to extract uh, sins for us. So now we have UI bar and then here is the theme. As you can see, this is basically set up for a jailbroken iPhone. So if you're jailbroken, um, this you would have to move into your actual file system within files -a. but since we're on a non jailbroken iPhone we want just the icons and this is actually not the right theme let me go ahead this is a different theme by the same creator let me go ahead and find the correct theme here um, let's see here Okay, so here is massive. This is the, the theme that we want to use. As you can see, it's a deb file. It's different than a zip. So we just do download. Never seen this before. So we'll do download anyways. And uh, same process. So we're gonna do open in. We're gonna open it in iZip Pro. So as you can see, iZip Pro can actually handle uh, .deb files. And we're gonna click on okay. And then it should be under the data. Go ahead and unzip that. Now we have, uh, let's back up the data here. We have another one, we'll do okay. Basically you just gotta kinda unzip this as you go. So get into themes, massive uh, icon bundles, and there you go. So there is the correct theme. Um, and that's basically how you can get uh, to the, the image files. That's really what you need to do. You just need to get to the image files. So this kind of, process would apply to all themes that are meant for a jailbroken iPhone. Uh, that is how you can get to it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all of these images to my files application so that I can use them with shortcuts to create these custom icons. So I'm just gonna select all because I want to move all of them. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I think it's this button here that allows me, nope, this one, nope, there's a this one. 
Yep, it is that one. I can't remember what button it is and the stupid home bar blocks the names. So we just want to share all of these images and what we can do is save to files. Now the way that I have my files structured is I have a themes folder within my iCloud drive. And in that themes folder, I have every individual theme that I have ever purchased or downloaded onto my iPhone or even my iPad. I save the images to this folder so that I can, you know, use them and have them in the future if I want. So I have an absolute boatload of custom themes in this folder. Now, I know everyone doesn't have limitless space in their iCloud drive. I have the two terabyte plan, so I don't worry about it. But if you need to, you could do the same process or the same system within the section of on my iPhone. Just remember, it's only on your iPhone. You can't access it from iCloud drive then. But that's just where I like to keep it. So we go into themes here. And then I want to add a new folder and uh, name the folder to what the theme is. So you just click the plus folder button there. We're going to go ahead and clear it. And then we're going to do massive because that's the name of the theme. And I'm just going to put YouTube at the end um, because this is, I already have the theme in there. I'm just showing you guys, for example, so that way I can delete it in the future. I'm just going to click done. As you can see, there is now the massive YouTube folder within my themes folder. And I'll just click save. Now you just got to give it a minute to save all of the images. There are quite a few. So just let it go ahead and save to that file. Now when we go into files, let me back up. We just go down to the M's. And it should be right up here. So there is massive YouTube. And then there are all of the different icons that I can now use and create custom icons on iOS 15. And I uh, really like this theme. I think it's really cool looking. There's, you know, a lot of cool looking icons that are very Halloween style. So now at this point, this is when I begin creating the custom icons. So we can go ahead and do the first one here. I'm going to show you a few, a few of them, for example, in case you guys need to see how to create custom icons. So we just click plus, add action, scripting, open app. And then the camera app I like to use is called Halide. So we're going to choose that. And then the settings button in the upper right, add to home screen, choose file. And now you can select your folder just like this. So massive YouTube, I guess I'll just use these ones because why not? And then I'm just going to find the camera icon that I used, clear the name, click add. And now we have our first icon for this setup. So I can get rid of this Google Chrome. I don't need this as a placeholder here anymore. Now I'm going to do the second icon, which was my photos. So again, we go back into shortcuts. We just clear that out and then we just delete it because we don't need that. And I don't want to clutter up all my shortcuts plus button, add action, scripting, open app. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose my photos application just like that. Settings, add to home screen, choose file just like that. And now we're going to find the next icon, which is this one, clear the name, click add. And now we have our second icon. And now the third one that I did was uh, for weather, for carrot weather. And you can use these icons for whatever apps you want. That's pretty much what I have done. Um, they're not the actual icons that are meant for the certain apps. I just kind of go off of what is the app and does it match up? So the camera app, it makes sense. It's for Halide. It's not the stock iOS camera, but it is a camera app. So it has the camera icon. Photos, that's just for the Photos app, so it makes kind of sense. Um, so the next one is going to be Carrot Weather. Add action, scripting, open app. And I'm just going to search for Carrot. And this is a weather-based application, so we're going to go ahead and choose the next icon for this. And the one that I like to use for this is the kind of leaf-looking icon, which is right here. There's a couple water drops on the leaf, so I figured that kind of makes sense, right? And then we have the third icon. So now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add all of the rest of the icons, and then I'll show you guys the rest of the setup. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this part so you're not watching me make a million different icons for the setup. So I'll be back in a second.
Okay, so finally I have created all of the custom icons that I wanted to use from this theme. Um, as you guys, I don't know if you could tell in the fast forwarding part how easily it was to tell what apps are what, but I'll basically tell you what app I'm using for each one of these custom icons. And maybe it'll help you guys kind of figure out how you can use, you know, different icons for different things. So we have the camera, which is Halide. We have my photos, we have carrot weather, I have Noto for notes with the cards there. I thought that that kind of made sense because the app has a card system in it. Um, we have the old TV there for YouTube. We have the the filming thing. I forget what they call those for YouTube studio. Discord is Discord. We have the Reddit pumpkin for Apollo for Reddit. I have this demonic looking book here for files. The maps is kind of self-explanatory. This skull here for Call of Duty Mobile. Fender for title music, the phone for the phone, the globe look there for Google Chrome, the weird creepy skull there for Tweetbot, and then the, I think it's WhatsApp kind of message icon for messages. So that is pretty much the setup. Now at, at this point, uh, what I'll do is just go ahead and move the icons I want in the dock down to the dock just like that. Now I have a couple of widgets being used um, in this setup and I'm gonna go ahead and add the clock so that is one that I'm using so just the regular clock and then the next one I'm using is called motivation I think this app is free from the App Store as well so motivation and then I'll just select on custom there and add that and now what I'm gonna do is move this to the middle just like I had it in the image of the setup there and then I'm going to edit this widget here to be the style that I want it to be, which I think is custom three. So there you go. I'm actually going to go into this app and select, um, select one that I want to see for a while. Cause I'm going to show you guys another trick here. So, um, what's a cool one that I could put. I liked, I liked having this one. So we'll switch to it. It'll update the widget. Now what I'm going to do is screenshot the home screen just like that. And I'm actually gonna get rid of motivation. So remove the widget. Now what I'm gonna do is go back into edit mode and I'm gonna add a clear spaces widget to it as well. Oops, yeah, that's right. Clear spaces. And then we'll add the widget just like that. And I'll put it in the middle. So at this point, once you have a clear spaces there, you can just cl click on it and then go ahead and put your screenshot into the clear spaces. And then I'm going to exit out of clear spaces and then edit the widget. So edit, and we're going to choose the middle section there for the widget. And there you go. And there is the full setup. That is how I did it. That is how you can do, you know, jailbreak icons on a non jailbroken iPhone. Um, that's how you can make a widget have no name at the bottom with clear spaces. I mean, you could do that with the clock too, but it would freeze the clock and then it wouldn't be animated. And I just like leaving it as animated. I think the one label in this setup looks perfectly fine. I think it's really clean. I think it's pretty cool. Hopefully you guys do too. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see previous videos uh, for this series, check out the playlist link in the description. This has been IDM and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later. Later.